Alright travelers of the side of Africa and we are back doing a little project Ozone 2 Kappa mode and my armor looks so crazy. I'm digging this kind of fancy armor or whatever but it, it just looks crazy. Crazy crazy crazy. So we've done some stuff. I've done some cleaning up. Um, I have organized down here a little bit more. Not Not the most organized but it's getting better. I made a whole bunch of storage drawers and then upgraded them all to these uh, obsidian levels so they all can hold stacks of 80. And um, yeah, so we're, we're working away there. This is now back running at full power, as you can see. And I think this chest, nope, it's still not empty. I picked the other ones up and got that all cleaned up. And yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with that. And ooh, I did finally get some cows. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Also, I got some chickens. I have to show you this because this is the funniest thing. So, earlier, I was over here doing something. I can't remember what I was doing. And uh, what? Bacterial sludge, molten silver, and liquid blue slime. Well, I learned something. I accidentally... Oh, it was I threw an egg. And I hit him. Look at He's coming after me. He's attacking me. The chickens are turning on me. That is freaking crazy. The chickens turn on you, man. I don't know if the cows do, but I'm not going to mess around. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I got to go. So anyways, you guys stay there. You know, I'll be good. I'll probably be back and probably collect you just so, you know, there's not so many of you guys and we'll uh, let other ones spawn in. But for right now, y'all can stay and chill. I did move my uh, sprinkler system from AgriCraft over here uh, because I do want to eventually turn this into a farm or start a farm. And then I'll probably let the animals like graze somewhere else or whatever. But for the time being, it's it's just kind of it is what it is. I'm not really working on the agricast stuff at the moment, so it'll be good. And then I did look at look at this. I'm all like pretty organized now. Like look at all of my building blocks are in here. All my tools are in here. I've got empty chests. I've got empty chests. And then like all my agricast stuff. Yes, I finally got organized. I feel so much better now. And then I have been over here quite often uh, taking out mobs. And I realized that we get wither skeletons spawning in here. Check this out. It's a wither skeleton. Now, I haven't got any necrotic bones or anything like that, but there's wither skeletons spawning in the overworld. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, look at that. I got plus one repair. I already had it. Does that give me two now? Haha, -ha, auto repair two. That's awesome. Yeah, so we've... We've gotten some stuff done in the meantime. I've uh, attempted to be as productive as possible without getting too much of like, you know, the, the main stuff done or whatever. Like, I mean, look at like all my stuff so organized. Like I have chests for everything now. All my ender lily stuff or my ender pearls or whatever. This is what I call my junk drawer with my five sets of kitchen. And then since the iron pickaxes and iron swords aren't all that great, I'm like, whatever. But I figured I might be able to use them uh, in that crafting recipe. So I thought I would hold on to him because I keep getting them in these loot bags. And, I, you know, I just didn't want them to go to waste. Um, yes. What else we got? Pumpkin seeds. I hate when I keep doing that. I hit escape to get out of it, and I realize that it automatically leaves it once you grab the stuff. So melon seeds and pumpkin seeds can go down here. And today we will get, well, now we will get going on what we're going to do today. So I was kind of checking out where we were at and uh, we got to the treated wood part and then also the sieving montage. Now the sieving montage, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually done with this. Um, we had already had the quartz and the gold and so in this little crusher over here, I just put a stack of nether rack, and that should do it. Yes, and that's all that was. I don't know if you can sieve this stuff. I don't really know what it's good for. Um, oh, okay. Appar oh, updating. I was like, apparently that's... I don't know. Really not what sure. I mean, you might be able to sieve that. I mean, it's from the Ex Nihilo, right? Yeah, so you might be able to... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Can I... Oh, you know what? I literally, literally, just a couple seconds ago, threw out my non-auto sieve. My, my old manual sieve. Because I was like, eh, whatever. Can... What do you do? Oh, are you running low on power? Are you guys not putting out enough power? I'm going to have to upgrade my power system and that actually will be good for today because we're going to get into immersive engineering and by getting into immersive engineering, 
it will allow us to uh, start creating power. Like I might be able to create like the, the wood mill or whatever, or the wood mill, the water mill. Um, but before we start that, I want to try to see to make this. Okay, really, really simple. It's got an item magnet. It's just four lapis. I could have sworn it was just regular lapis. It is just regular lapis. Okay. Um, four redstone and iron. And I'm hoping this is just like any other magnet. And if it is, oh, I'll be a happy camper. Two, three, four. And lapis. One, two, three, four. I'm hoping if I can make this simple little magnet in kappa mode, oh, I will be a happy camper. You and you. Hold on. I could have sworn it. See lapis right there. I wonder if it has... No, that's just blue dye. Blue petal block. Yeah, that's iron. Oh, haha. -ha, I did it backwards. You go there. And let me grab three more redstone. I was like, I just did this. I just looked at the recipe. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. And if this works, oh, I'm going to be so happy. Does it work, though? That's the question. It doesn't seem to. I was hoping. I don't know if I have to do something with it, but it's from Magnetic Craft. Right? It's a magnet. I don't... I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look into it. I, there, there's got to be a purpose for that thing. There's got to be. I was just hoping uh, there was, you know, other magnets. Like there's the simple magnet from Ender IO add-ons, but I can't make the conductive iron yet because I don't have an induction smelter, nor do I have an alloy smelter or an arc furnace or anything, anything that I can basically make those in. And the other one is this one, but I can't make this. Um, this, I think I can make with steel and rich slag. Ooh, maybe I can't. I don't know. Anyways, I really want to get an item magnet, but I don't have one right now. And life goes on. It's okay. We're still doing great things right now. And so, yes, back to this. Uh, we've completed that. So let's go ahead and get our loot chest and see if we get anything special. Uh, increased mining speed. Oh, that's that's nice. That's I think that goes in one of these, right? Yes. I don't know too much about Aether. But uh, I really, I'm looking forward to getting into it once that time comes. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, there is one thing I want to do. Uh, I think it's in here. I believe it's just, where are you at? There you are. One of you. And one iron ingot. And I think this makes like the, the key, right? Uh, that makes spectral iron. Okay, I don't want, hold on. There's a spectral key to get to the spectral dimension or whatever. Here it is. Oh, and a stick. Okay, cool. So that is what I want. That is what I want. But I need a stick too. Cool. So we're going to make the spectral ingot and the, there we go. And then I have sticks over here, I think. No, in here. Like so. And this will make the spectral key. Now, the reason I want this key is because I want to do some chance cube openings today. Right? And... Not a lot, like maybe like five. I don't want to like, test my luck too much, but I'm hoping that, you know, good things will happen. So you basically hold the key and then we whoosh off into the spectral world. And it's just like a little storage area, which is really cool because, you know, it's just an easy access storage area. It, you can like really not see what's going on. You can kind of see the corners of the room, but that's it. Oh, something happened. Uh, I don't know why I came back unless the key was still being held onto. That was really weird. Come on. Back. I'm wondering if it's kicking me out for a reason. Like, I don't know. I was like, I'm, I'm here. So what I want to do is open these guys here. I should have probably grabbed one of my pendants, but it's okay. Holy mug. Well, I should get some magma creams. And, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I was, I knew that, you know, there's a possibility of, you know, bad things happening, but I wasn't expecting right off the bat to get crazy. Oh my goodness. All right. I just got to get the bats. That's, that's actually getting the magma cream first might be easier. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. That, 
I was hoping for something good. Maybe I'll go back and grab my like my my tier three pendants because I've got a couple of them, and uh, it's supposed to add fifty. It says add fifty points. I don't know exactly what add fifty points means, but I'm assuming it's supposed to help the process. I don't know. Nether jellyfish. Ah ah! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, I'm backed in the corner. This isn't good. This isn't good. Fortunately, I do now have my charged um, white stones. And actually, I'll take a break right here while I kill these guys and show you that. And then I'll also show you that uh, the Blood Moon came right after I got those charged red stones. And, or uh, charged uh, white stones. And uh, so I was able to get the uh, this guy right here. Yes, the Blood Stone. And I'm getting charged up right now. So I'll break to that and then we'll be right back and saw it's a full moon and realized that my white stones are charging finally charging i didn't know how that worked but i actually wasn't even recording right now but i just saw it happen so i figured i'll hit record and i'll be able to put this in somewhere so yes we are getting our white stone charged and we'll see if that actually does save my life if i ever need it okay this is a perfect time now so i was told if these are charged and you throw them on the ground during a blood moon they turn into something red and so i want to kind of check out and see what it does because i don't know I, this is the one i think like if you get like a certain amount of kills or something like that it does something i'm not 100 percent sure so this gets charges for every kill when it's in your inventory so let's check that out since the blood moon is up we should be getting a couple more mobs over here hey stay still there we go yeah, the ones in the armor don't die in one shot. It usually takes two to kill them. Not a big deal, though. And now I should have three charges. Okay, cool. So that charges up when you're killing. I do really want to find out what the bloodstone does, though. I believe this actually saves you from death. I'm not sure about the bloodstone, but we will figure that out. But I just wanted to show you that the blood moon was rising, and I want to toss it on the ground and see what it did. And basically, <laughs> learn with you guys. So, anyways, we will be back. So, it's awesome. We've got them now. We've got our white stones. Those are basically, from, from as far as I know, they protect you from death. That's that's what I, the idea I get. And then I believe the bloodstone will give us uh, like a regen effect. I'm not 100% sure when it's full. But anyways, I, uh, I finished clearing out all those guys in there. And I made it out alive, which is good. And then I had to, I got so many, I was like stacking all of these and uh, taking them to the next tier just to make room in my inventory because I was getting so many. But let's see if we got anything good. Um, I have been smelting up my iron. So every time I get iron in those and stuff like that, I just smelt it up. Pretty cool. Uh, Gunpowder, melon seeds, leather, and redstone, gold. I'm really not sure about this jade stuff yet. Okay. Um, I forget where I put those. They were somewhere useful. Aha, right there. So you're going to go right there. And yeah, sorry, I got really, really quiet because I was like, you know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what I want to do with some of the stuff. Uh, redstone goes in there. Sulfur can put away. Uh, oh, jade I've been putting in there. I don't really know what the jade is. That's from Erebus as well or Rebus or whatever you call it. Um, I got these molten cores. I kind of want to hold on to them over here because I'm not exactly sure what they do. But uh, magma creams can go in there. I'll put the saddles in there just because they come from here. Just got to get this stuff cleaned up. I finally got organized. I want to stay that way. So check another one. Ooh, new armor. What did we get? Night vision. That's a chest plate, right? And this one, oh, that's my speed boost. Yeah, we're not messing with that one. Jade, more iron. Another white stone. Awesome. So I, I'm going to be safe from dying for quite a while, which is good. Don't want to be dying too much. And I think one of those chance cubes was enough right now. <laughs> I kind of want to go do one with the pendant just to see if I actually do get some good luck. But at the same time, I never have good luck. So I don't want to do it, if you know what I mean. And uh, we've got other stuff we're going to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of these in here. And maybe we'll open them up later. Uh, slime plurals from uh, Reliquary. I'm not really sure what they're all about. But let me put this jade up here and division sigil. I think I still have room for one more. Nope. Yeah, I've already got so many of those. I might just kind of, I don't know, start storing them somewhere else. I don't know. Anyways, yes. Oh, seeds. Get rid of those. All right. So back to our, our mission here. 
So we've got Mob Hunter. I've already killed four blades, so we're good. I've already killed four of those. I've already killed two of those. Oh, so we're, we've already completed this one. Did Was it blue? Oh, it was blue. I didn't even notice that. All right, cool. So let's see if we got anything good. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How many of these kitchen sets can I get? Oh, it's just crazy. Okay. So, um... Treated wood, right? So let's let's start there. Treated wood planks. Um, we want, definitely want to start in that direction so I can start making, uh, what's it called? Like the power tools and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got a bucket, easy peasy, and then the wood, we're good. I, I don't actually have a lot of wood left. I used up a lot of my wood. Um, let's put you back. Let's grab a stack. I have my buckets on me. Oh, you know what? In here, I've got three creosote oil already. Cool. There was a, a prize, or not, well, was prize the right word? <laughs> it was something we got for uh, accomplishing a mission. So. so we've got the creosote, and I can fill these up. One, two, three. And I can also fill my buckets up. One, two, three. And so we'll make a whole bunch of this treated wood, like so. Hey, get, get in there. There we go. And um, then, you know, well, that should be mission accomplished. There we go. Treated wood. Awesome. I'm going to go fill these other two up real quick, just so. Yeah, I already made steel, so I got steel production. That's cool. All right, so you go in there with those. My empty bucket's back. Oh, wow, it's just, it's just going. Okay, so let us claim our loot chest, like so. And we will throw you in the the loot chest chest and we'll come back to you in a minute and what else did we unlock we now can do steel production which I've already done so I'll claim that loot chest ah, I keep doing that claim and put that in here oh okay so now it's time for moral dilemma I have a question for you guys all right and I, I want a couple of you guys to comment on this right we have the HQM book, right? And because we have HQM and then we also have better questing, which is what I've been using here. This is better questing. Um, it, it offers you the opportunity to cheat, right? Because I can do all my quests here and I can claim all those here, right? But I haven't been claiming them in the book. So technically I can go to my, my missions here and be like, oh, hey, I did this, claim the reward. It's all the same stuff. It's it's the better quest in Arch HQM. It's identical stuff. It's a reward bag, a floor, and a chance. Like that's the very, very beginning. I'm I'm before I do it, I'm questioning you guys on the ethical dilemma that I'm in. Because technically I can go get all those other rewards and basically double up. Is that cheating? That's what I want to know from you guys. I want to know from you guys if you think because it's technically in the game, I'm not actually like, you know, breaking the rules. I'm using what's offered to me. Should I do it? That's that is the question. Should I do it? Should I be honest? Because I feel it's a little bit cheatsy doodle and I'm, you know, I'm not trying to cheat here or is it legit? And I should just freaking rock it and say, hey, oh, the steel builds can't go in there. You know what? The game gave me the opportunity, and I'm going to take it. So you guys tell me what you think. Tell me if you find it to be too cheesy doodle, or if I'm... Because it's not an exploit, per se. It's just, you know, it's something I can do. And I think it's... I personally think it's kind of within, you know, reason. I, I, I do. I really do. Uh, just because both the books are there. Now, granted, it's all the same thing, and it obviously wasn't the intention, but it's not like I'm cheating anything in. I don't know. You guys tell me what the, what you think, all right? I really want to know what you guys think, because I don't know. I kind of want free stuff. That's really what it comes down to. But anyways, let us go ahead and... Um, okay, steel protection is complete. We already got that one. So now we want to work behead. Uh, three wither skeleton skulls. I don't know if I've gotten a Wither Skeleton Skull yet. I've got a whole bunch of skulls. Uh, zombie Pigman, Regular Skeleton, Zombie Creeper. This could be a good time to make a cleaver and get some beheading on it. That could be a good time to do that. But, oh, that's right. The Blubber Tubber. 
Is that what they call it? Blubber tub. The auto tool station. I want to make this guy. Uh, just because I actually... Ooh, Blood Moon's rising. You know what that means. I can throw this guy on the ground. And there we go. We're getting another one. Oh, yeah. I really don't know if... I don't know, like the effects double or not or anything like that. I don't know. And it'd be funny if I got two per, like every time I killed one. I want to keep one in here just in case. I, I'm i trying to cover all my bases here. So anyways, um, yes, the, the blubber tub. Uh, what was that thing called? Um, auto tool station. Here we go. So I'm going to need my tool forge. I'm going to need a hopper, which is actually a vanilla recipe. Really? call me shocked one two three four five and one two three four five six seven eight all right cool so we need to make ourselves a chest and a hopper like so there we go and wool and blank patterns wow that's way easier than i thought it was going to be one two one two and wool i can make because i got tons of string like so Needed, what, five or six of them? One, two, three, four, five. Five, I think it was. And crafting table, what am I doing? All right, so we'll just make up a whole bunch of wool. Cool. And now let's go ahead and make you. Oh, I need you. I need you, please. I'm really hoping that I can still um, use it like a regular table. I, I don't know. But basically, it's just auto crafting. And I can put items in here and then add... Like I've got five remaining. So if I wanted to put like more haste on here, I could just throw this in there, throw the rest down, and then it'll apply till done. See, it says right there. I don't know how to switch that. Um, do I like right click? Okay. Uh, only one modifier, apply until done. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Uh, I'll leave it at only one modifier. I just, I think that makes more sense actually. <clears throat> so now we've got the auto tool station complete don't forget to claim it there we go and we'll go put the loot chest in here and we'll put this cube over here cool and now i can make the gloves get the achievement for the gloves i like the efficiency gloves the traveler's gloves i think they're really really cool um because it just adds more haste basically and they're pretty easy to make just uh six leather um wait that's not easy to make because I don't have a lot of cows. How many cows do I have now? I'm up to four. Ooh, is that a vanilla cow? And then the sheep. I've got sheep. Um, Is there another way to make it? Oh, no, I looked that up. It was imp hides and stuff like that. I might have to come back to that one because I don't want to kill all my cows right now. Uh, I could... Ooh, you know what? I could grab some wheat and make some more cows. That's what I can do. One, two, three, four. I don't, I've never actually bred the mushroom cow, so I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if they're going to give me like a different fluid or if it's going to be <clears throat> one of the fluids. Okay, you're a vanilla, but you're not feeding. <coughs> Why aren't you feeding? Um, hmm. <coughs> okay, never mind. I. Well, the wheat's gone. What happened here? Um, I know I have particle effects off. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Let Let me go get some more wheat. Let me just feed them all, because more animals isn't gonna hurt me. So we'll go get more wheat and do that. And I just grab the whole stack. We're gonna feed them all, and if I get some more baby cows awesome because none of these materials are really really like good or anything like that like nothing that i really need and so okay so the sheep you're doing it they made a baby sheep cool but the cows don't seem to okay so cows don't seem to breed that that kind of dips into things okay so that really doesn't help me all that much because i can't make the gloves right now but that's okay we can always come back once i get some more leather and get some more vanilla cows, I guess. Uh, but there is other stuff, so it's cool. There was a lot of more stuff I want to do. I was looking into the furnace upgrade stuff, and then also the knapsack. And the knapsack's actually pretty easy, so we might do that now, because I'm going to need that. Uh, my inventory fills up so much, so. 
Okay. But, oh, Constantine rods. Oh, oh, it's midnight. It's midnight on a full moon. My other one is filling up now. I'm just having really good luck with these stones. This is awesome. So it's charging up. It's doing its thing. Cool. I need to get some leather. Now, the Empire kit is doable. But I, Constantine, what is the mix recipe for Constantine? That is copper and nickel. Oh, oh yeah, I can make that. Now I just have to find imps. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll be uh, another back burner one or whatever. I can't make this yet because I don't have the little rubies from Erebus. Can't do the beheading, but I can look into water power, making three water wheels. I have a feeling that they're not going to be as easy as what they once were. Um, water wheel segment. Okay. Water wheel. There we go. It's going to be one plank and four segments. And I need to make three of these. So I need to make uh, 12 segments. And that is three planks and four sticks. Okay. I, I should have enough. I should with what I just made. So there's two sticks. Um, let's go down to 48. There we go. Now you, you, one, two, three, four. That's enough for one water wheel. Okay. And I need to make, okay. So it looks like I'm going to need more treated wood, which is not a problem. I'll just grab a stack here and grab some creosote oil my buckets are right here and we got this one two three and there we go so we just did this and now we're doing it again <laughs> easy peasy this is this is cakewalk here people said kappa mode is hard ha! i laugh at them this is so simple i i can do this with my eyes closed all right uh one two three just to keep you guys full up and then i'm gonna grab two more buckets one two good okay yeah no the the recipe yeah no i hate that the recipes are relatively simple not not very challenging so far although okay how many is that that's 12 how many did i need oh i have enough for three wheels okay not a problem bingo bango we're done Mission accomplished, water power, and, oh, and what's this? Tungsten ingot, I already made that, and coal already had that, so awesome. We'll claim those loot chests. Why do I always do that? Claim those loot chests, and claim that loot chest. All right, we're going to put that away in here for right now. And so I've already got the kinetic dynamo, which is awesome. Because now I can set up some water power and add more power to the system down here. Yes. More power is a good, good thing. Yes. Let me put our creosote oil away real quick. My bucket's here. And there we go. So, how are we going to do that? I don't know. What other accomplishments can I do real quick? And then I'll look into possibly doing that. Um, low, medium, high wires. I'm assuming that's what I'm saying. Low voltage cable, medium voltage cable, high voltage cable, low medium voltage transformer, and medium high voltage transformer. Um, I don't know how expensive these are going to be. Um, let's look them up and see how doable these are. Um, voltage. Here we go. So we've got the low voltage cable. That's plastic, which I cannot do yet. Um, well, yeah, no, I can't do that yet because I don't have the machines for it yet. And the copper wire, yeah, that's more plastic. Okay, so that is out of the question. For sure, that is out of the question. What else can we take a look at? Uh, wind turbines? We are pretty high, so that could be some power cables. Uh, low voltage, medium voltage, and... Did I get some as a... I don't remember ever having low voltage wire unless that's what I made. I forget what chest I put it in. This isn't low voltage though. It's like hemp wire. Where's it at? Um, it might be in this one over here. 
spool yeah hemp rope coil yeah that's that's not the same i don't ever recall making those but it says i'm complete so let's look up wire coils let's see if i can do those and maybe i can wire coils so there's a low voltage medium voltage is electrum under a around a stick i don't think i have enough electrum right now and then this is aluminum and steel that i can do i can do the high voltage and actually you know what i can smelt up some electrum i think i have gold in here i do and do i have any silver silver perfect so let's go ahead and smelt that up that way i can get the electrum around a stick it doesn't have to be a treated stick nope just a regular stick interesting i wonder if i can use treated sticks because i already have them but i don't know so let us grab our steel and our aluminum i've already got some steel made one two and aluminum one two and let's grab ourselves some sticks one two three um, I don't, I, I actually gonna make the low voltage basically because I don't remember ever doing it and I don't honestly think I have any. So there's the high voltage, medium voltage is going to be the electrum. And then this is going to be copper ingots, which I can do. I have copper right here somewhere. That's bronze. What about up here? Do I have not any copper? Did I smelt all my copper? I don't see any actually. Interesting. Um, let me just do it this way real quick. Yeah, I don't have it. I've got copper ore. You know what? I'll do that because this thing is so quick that this is going to smell down to like four copper each. And so, oh, and I, I, I said it wasn't doubling ores and apparently it just doesn't uh, identify like the, the gravel ore or the dust ore, or the sand ore or whatever, but it does recognize these. So if I take these copper ores, it will double. So those gave me four per, so now I have 20. And then those give me two per, so I get 40. That's awesome. That's eight ores per nether ore. Those are amazing, and I love them. I absolutely love them. Let me go ahead and take you out real quick and make you. I think it was just four copper, right? Yes. Okay, so there's you. And now let's get our electrum out of here. Oh, my gosh. The silver's not done yet. Okay. I thought I would be done by now. And while that's cooking up, let's see what else we can take a look at. Um, that one, I really want to take a look at that. Let's see what we got on beta. I haven't really messed with the other pages yet. Um, wheat, a toast sandwich. Let's make a toast sandwich. How do I do that? Although I just used all my wheat, didn't I? Uh, toast sandwich is two breads and that's just bread smelted. So bread smelted gives me toast. Okay. So let's grab these two. Copper is done. So we're going to get two of you. And how many does that give me? That just give me one? Yeah, that's just one. So I need 16 of those. Okay. How did I use all my wheat? No, I still have a little bit. I'm going to need to make more wheat, but that's okay because I can go plant. Um, what are those things called? You know, those things that do that thing. Uh, what am I doing? I need to smelt you up first. Uh, seeds. Yes, I can go plant some seeds. So I guess the toast sandwich is kind of on hold until I get more wheat. But I mean, <laughs> it's awesome. A toast sandwich. Uh, I'm sure it's very nutritional too. What is the nutritional value on it? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Let's eat it up. I'm going to make more wheat anyway. So um, That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay. So let me go ahead and put the wheat back in here. I will put my toast back in here. This is kind of like my extra food storage area. I just kind of like leave it there. And electrum should be done now, right? Oh, out of lava. Jeez. Can't catch a break. All right. One of you has to have lava. One of you guys has lava. I saw lava right there. There we go. So let's get that electrum cooked up. I wish I would have noticed that the first time. That would have really sped things up. I was like, because gold doesn't, or gold and silver don't take that long to smelt. All right, so this should turn into electrum now. Gold into electrum. Perfect. And look at that. I happen to have the ingot cast ready to go. Awesome. So now we'll have that one accomplished, and we'll have most of alpha done, which will be really nice. 
and we can start really working our way towards beta and stuff like that. But I'm psh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay. So let's go put that stick back in here. And da da medium voltage cables. Cool. So mission accomplished. Back to alpha. And where are you at? You're right there. So let's go ahead and claim our loot chest. Put that away real quick. Another icosahedron. Put you away. And I ha I've been storing all like my cables and my all this stuff in here. So I'll go ahead and put those cables in there for right now. And as a matter of fact, I'll put the kinetic dynamo in there too. Um, actually, because I kind of connected all the power, I'm gonna put those in there as well. All right, cool. So we've got that accomplished. Oh, I'm so glad to see these are all full now. This is just awesome. Things are going well. Things are definitely going well. Oh, and I got more chance cubes. Oh, wrong one. Hey, I put those in that wrong chest. Get back here. All right, cool. I do want to start looking into making a QED. I know that's coming up pretty soon. I don't remember exactly where it was at, but I know it's coming up pretty soon. Uh, what is this? Connectors and relays. Ooh. Ooh, I can make those. But I really don't have anything to connect to. I don't think these connect straight to buy. Can I make those? Let's let's look those up. Um, low voltage connector. There it is. That is made with hardened clay and copper ingots. And I get eight of those. What is, and I'm probably, it's probably going to be Electrum. Um, medium voltage. It's probably going to be Electrum and hardened clay. Oh, no, just iron and hardened clay. Okay, I can do that. What about our high voltage? High voltage is made with aluminum and hardened clay. I can definitely do that. I might go ahead and get all those put together right now and then we'll come back and I might actually set this water mill up. That might be how we finish up today because I really don't see ourselves, myself going too much further into these. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah, this is the other one I want to do. Okay, so we're going to finish getting those all together. Maybe put the water mill together to get some more power. And then we're going to go ahead. And I've done all the storage upgrades, so I just need to go take them off the boxes and put them in my inventory. <clears throat> because this is going to start taking me towards the QED. We've got the endo pump, we've got the endo quarry, and then the QED. And this is really what I want to get to so I can start making my... Um, Oh, what do you, you know what? Let's just, let's just start it now. I I'm too excited. I really want to get that QED going because I want to start making the ender IO stuff and I don't have a lot of them, but I do believe that these things smelt up like crazy. Like one ender lily gives you like eight ender pearls or something like that. Something to that effect. So gem, I believe it's a gem cast. We'll see in a second. Let me just go get some more lava real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get all my ender pearls put together and that way we can Go ahead and rock this bad boy. There we go. And then once I have all those put together, we will come back and we will put together our QED. So then maybe I can make my alloy smelter and start making some conduit because I've been really missing my conduit like a lot. So we will uh, get all these ender pearls cooked up and then uh, get our QED stuff put together and we'll be right back. Okay, I just had to show you guys that while I was in the process of doing this. <clears throat> Those four ender lily seeds gave me two, or sorry, five ender lily seeds gave me 2,000 millibuckets. That's freaking 4,000 millibuckets per ender lily seed. I didn't realize it was that many. And I think it's four uh, pearls per bucket. So per 1,000. So after I take this fourth one right here, I should be, yeah, only down 1,000. That is a lot of ender pearls. Oh, that's so nice. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get some ender pearls. Now I've got tons. Four per thousand, so that's 80. 80 ender pearls. That's awesome. So we'll be able to get this uh, ender, the QEM, QEM? What is that called again? I always forget the name of it. Uh, QED. Get the QED done pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to get all these pearls out and then we will be right back. All right guys, so we've got basically a ton of pearls and I found out they don't stack at 16. I think they stack at 64. Oh, that's awesome. And I had decided, well, I decided to make a mistake. That's what I decided to do. I decided, you know what, might as well set up the power while I was waiting. I started cooking up some of the uh, hardened clay and stuff like that so we'll be able to connect it to the system. 
<clears throat> it had been a while since I'd made any new areas and hadn't thought about it and forgot to put torches down. This stupid creeper. Okay, I was kind of mad, right? So I killed the zombie and then I saw this creeper sitting right here. He was just tucked in like right here. So I walked over here so he'd follow me. So I get him away from my stuff and walked back and he just stopped right there and blew. He blew my node, but I got the, the interaction upgrade or whatever, but he blew my node up. He blew my diamond chest up. He blew my pipe, which is not a big deal. But then two more of my crucibles. Oh, so annoyed right now. So very annoyed. But it's okay. We're about to tap into a, an awesome resource. Power. Yes. As well as get the QED done. And I think that'll probably be good for this episode. All right. So let me grab... I want to make some board with glass. So let me grab the chisel. Throw the glass in there. Is that borderless? No, that's quite clear. I want this one. Yes, borderless glass. There we go. I just kind of want to make the the windmill or watermill as pretty as possible. And so I thought kind of encasing it in glass would look kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see how that we'll see how it looks in a second, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. And so yes, I think I gotta go one higher. Actually, you know what? Oh, shoot. Yeah, because I want the stones right here in the corners. Right, okay, so that's the height of it and that's gotta go on top of it, right? I, I'm trying to see the height because I need one water block right there. So that's gonna be one water block. Okay, so I need to go one higher. Okay, so that I know, okay. And then I can go, can you reach? Yeah. Yeah, so that's where the water block goes. So this is the top of it, cool. Awesome, we got this. We got this. I'm kind of building in a dangerous way right now because I just have this one little side right here. <laughs> okay. There we go, and that'll be completely enclosed, awesome. And then I wasted some glass right here, but that's okay, I can live with that. And let's go across with you like that. Perfect. And there we go. Yeah, I don't ever really do building on screen. Like I, I always do my building elsewhere. And usually it's because it takes me forever to really decide on what I want. Like what I want my final product to look like. But I think that looks kind of cool. Um, I might change the kind of uh, stone I'm using, but generally speaking, I'm kind of okay with it, so. All right, cobble, I need more of you. Thank you. Uh, move this water bucket. All right, cool. Uh, there we go. So up here, like so. There we go. And I guess I could use my, well, I guess I really can't use my wand now, can I? Because these are all single layers. All right. And I think think I don't know but I believe the the part that I'm missing right there on the uh, power thing I think the cable has to plug into the top the wire has to connect up top so I might have to leave one block open right here like that and then I put the thing right there I think that's how it's gonna have to be I'm not a hundred percent sure we will we'll see we'll see all right, and then let us get, I just want to layer on the bottom completely to make sure that no water is going to go like spilling out and stuff. And I think I trapped myself. I did trap myself. <sighs> Silly me. Maybe we'll do something like this just so I can jump around it if I have to. And it's got to be equal on both sides. So let's do that over here too. And yes, I know there's lava right behind me. I'm not going to fall in. I promise. All right, cool. So there's that, and then um, water right here, like so. And so then I'll need glass going up the front. So that side's completely done. I've got 16 left, which is not enough to fill it all, but now I can place some water and see, hey, if this is going to work. Um, let me grab this cobble real quick. I believe the first block I want to place is like, there it goes, right in the middle. And so I'll put 
really did that just happen? <clears throat> that's that's a little bit annoying right there. That's just a little bit annoying. All right. Well, you're just going to stay in there because I'm not jumping back in there again. Okay. So I need to place the water block right there. Right? Oh, perfect. Um, except, please tell me you're going to spread over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Now I just got to put some blocks on the back side so it doesn't flow both directions because I know it's flowing both directions right now. And I guess we'll just build up this way. Okay, there we go. So, ooh, whew. Okay, so that's actually how we're going to do it, right? Really, did I just fall in? Man, oh man. Oh, got to be careful because there's, is there, no, there's no glass there. Okay. Um, hey, that's not where I wanted you. Uh, got to be careful here. Let us just put a block right here for a second. So I can jump up. Hey, come on, really? Come on, be nice to me. Be nice. There we go. Okay. So, break you. Now the water's flowing there. Now I've got to... Another blood moon, huh? Okay. Um, like that. That should get it off the back. And then she has... It should start moving. Awesome. Now we're doing good things. And then if I remember correctly, I can place water like in other locations too. Like I can place water, say, right here. Like, okay, so it's right there. So water block right there, like a source block right there. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, I know that's producing power, which is the whole point here. Um, why? Are you spilling out? Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, because there's no glass on this side. Huh. Let us fix that problem, just so the everything looks even. I need it all to look even. There we go. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. The water's still not even. Now it's weird on that side. Why is it weird on that side? Is there like a weird source block right here? because of that weird source block I don't know I don't know it's cranking though so we've, we've got a good start we have we're technically generating power which is good but I don't why is it so weird can I pick up this water block now that I've fixed the way it's gonna flow and place you right there Are you going to flow differently if I place you like that? Nope. Okay. So we'll just put all three source blocks up like this. Okay. Why aren't you flowing there? Okay. There we go. All right. So this is technically producing energy, which is awesome. We're, we're headed in the right direction. It took... Oh! There's no torches up top. Yes, got to remember to put those torches up top because I'm not dealing with that again. Um, no creepers are going to blow my thing up here. So let us get some torches put up there. Any more mobs? Okay. <laughs> let us get some torches up here like that. We'll put one right there. And I didn't want to fall, but I can just go out this way. Okay. I think we're good now. I think that's definitely lit up well enough. So, all right, cool. So now we can go make those uh, low voltage connectors as well as well. We can make the high ones too and whatnot. Um, so I needed aluminum. So I'm going to need one, two, three aluminum, one, two, three iron and one, two, three copper. Okay, cool. That, and I left you guys here right for me. Sweet. I'll put you there. So iron, that was a recipe, wasn't it? What am I missing? Uh, low voltage, low voltage connector. What am I missing? Oh, it's even less. Easy. So there's some medium voltage there. There's some low voltage there. 
and oh aluminum for the high voltage nope high voltage was different apparently high voltage was uh, all of them which makes sense it stands a little bit taller so cool all right cool so we got all those and i think we have to make this one too uh which is insulated glass which is a green dye with iron dust and stained glass a oh, regular glass with green dye do i have i gotten any cactus seeds yet i don't think i've gotten any cactus seeds um acacia seed oh cactus seed perfect let me grab some sticks and we will level these bad boys up real quick let oh you know what? i'm gonna need to grab my maddox where's my maddox there it is my inventory is getting full again but i'm okay with that because we're doing good things so the sprinklers are already working over here even though i haven't like you know you can't see it it's really weird on this one i haven't quite figured it out you can't quite see it but i know that they're working so all right um this is something i really haven't actually done on camera oh don't mean to do that there we go and this is how i level my seeds up like really really quickly you basically place four of them like this and place those cactus seeds right there why cactus seeds. oh sand duh what am i thinking oh goodness come on you guys get out of the way get out of the way um yeah i don't have any more sand on me okay let's try that again this is gonna be on cactus i only need to get I'm not going to spend the time leveling them up on camera. I'm going to set it up to level them up, but uh, no, that's gravel. That's the sand. There we go. Man, I got to get my inventory cleared out. But anyways, um, yeah, because I just need to get one cactus to get the cactus green. Right, I think that was all I needed. Um, high voltage. I need four of these. I get two, so I'm going to need two, two cactus greens. Not a problem. Get out of the way. Oh, man. Regular cow got loose. That's not cool. All right. Um, sand. Like so. We're just going to place you on top real quick. All right. Cool. Like so. And I need to go grab my clippers real quick as well. Totally forgot about those. My whole inventory is full. Okay. So you fill. You, you grow real quick. Mr. Cow, you're lucky. And you're a vanilla cow too, so I don't know why that makes a difference, but you are. You're a vanilla cow. And I need to get my clippers, which are in here. Yes. Hey, give me my sticks back. Those didn't go in there. I was trying to put this back in there and that back in there. There we go. All right. So these things should go pretty quickly because it's got seven sprinklers going on, or sorry, eight sprinklers going on. Oh, perfect, dude. Get in there. Get in there. Get you back in there. Come on. Come on. No, no, wrong way. There you go. Get it. Ha ha. Good job, boy. You're back in there. All right, cool. So hopefully I can get some more. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Right. And so when these guys all grow up here, the one in the middle will kind of catch traits from all of them and it'll become like a super seed. And that'll be awesome. But I'm not overly worried about that right now. I just want to get two cactus uh, greens so we can do the insulated and get that achievement done. And oh my gosh, the QED. Still got to do the QED. This is going to be like another hour long episode. And I was really not trying to go that long, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm having fun. So I hope you guys are having fun. I'm definitely having fun. Get off of here. Get off my farm. All right. Um... Are you harvestable yet? Haha, -ha, cactus green, thank you. Did I get two? Wasn't this one just too high also? I thought it was. Well, we got one cactus green. Now, one of these ones should grow real quickly, and we'll get another one. And then I'm going to get my cactus leveled up. I really want to start farming. I really, ha, huh, that looks so cool over there. I really want to start farming and getting um, into the magical crops. I think that's what the mod it is, magical crops in here. I really want to get those going pretty, pretty soon. So, come on. When do you guys grow? When do you guys grow? 
Get off of here! Crazy cows? Come on. Come on. What do you guys grow? I hate not having my watering can is kind of crazy. I'm used to having my watering can and just in here and like, okay, let's go. But I don't have a watering can yet. There was something weird that I didn't have. Why I couldn't make the watering can. Uh, watering can. Uh, watering can? Okay. Oh, yeah. It was this magical fertilizer. Uh, the smoky quartz I got now. Bone meal I got. This industrial fertilizer. Oh, yeah. No, I can. I'll probably make that in the meantime. I will make that in between episodes because I want my watering can. Waiting for stuff to grow is just... Oh. Oh, wow. I seriously was waiting and it was already grown. Okay. The, f the first one I thought was taller. Get out of the way. Get. Get. Okay, cool. So we've got that. Now we can go and... Did I grab more sand? Yes, I did. I need a little more glass. So we'll do that. And get this high voltage connector or whatever it's called. High voltage wire relay. Um, I'm going to need three iron. One, two, three. Perfect. And is it just glass and... Oh, iron dust. I'm ooh, I'm curious if this iron dust counts. Powdered iron ore. I don't I don't think it does. If not, um how much did I got? 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I do have okay, so I'm putting two back. I do have the uh, the grinder over here, so I might be able to put them together and grind them, but we'll see. We'll see. There we go. Glass, like that. You and you. Does it work? Oh. There was nowhere for you to go. Get out of here, string. Oh, no. I'm making you. Okay, so I think, I have a feeling that doesn't work. I, I just a f very, very strong feeling that that's what's going on there is that these, where'd it, where'd it go? These don't work, right? Okay. But what I can do is do this, right? And then I can try these in the grindstone. Will that work? No, I need actual iron ore. Um, Do I have nether iron ore? I think I got some nether iron ore. Silver, nether, no, I think I smelted it all. Aha! Iron ore. One, two, three. Okay. Um, we'll put you in here for right now and you in here. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. Okay. So then we'll have our pulverized iron and we'll be able to make those. I only need... I need four total, right? Am I going to get two per? I forget. Let me grab another one just in case. Pink. Okay. Oh, I get two per anyway, so, okay, cool. So let's get those, wow, look at the lights going. It's like a whole light show on the, the diamond chest right there. I've never seen that before, that's interesting. All right, should be just about done, should be just about done. Sometime today, oh, wow, without a pulverizer or a sag mill, that takes a while. Okay, there we go, got eight of them. All right, cool. So. One, two, one, two. Perfect. What don't I still don't need you string? Okay, cool. Got you. Um my inventory is just all full up. Oh, I don't even know what that is. There we go. Grab that. Okay, cool. So now I can make you. Got you. Where did I pick up the string? Alright, quest should be done. Awesome. <laughs> that actually took longer than I thought it was going to. Oh no, 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 no. Get over here. What? Why? I gotta get rid of some of the stuff. Um, for right now, I don't need arrows. And I don't need the chance cube, really. I want the loot chest, though. Okay. So let's put some of these building blocks away. Glass stone, glass, um, obsidian. Let me take you out, sort you, and then put you guys back in there. I just like them in the corner there. I don't know why. Alright, so there's all that. Okay, cool. QED time. QED. I just put my... Whew. I want to get this done. Uh, you know what? Well, let me check time real quick and see if it's going to get too long. So I'm going to check time real quick and see where we're at. If we're still under an hour, we'll get the QED done because I really want to get that going so I can get all the Ender IO stuff done. So we'll be right back. 
Okay, so I just realized we're just a couple minutes short of an hour right now. What we'll probably do is go ahead and finish up with this guy right here, getting this all set up. And then next episode, we're going to dive right into the QED. Since I've got all the ender pearls and everything ready, we should be able to just dive right in. So, yes. Let us grab our low voltage wire connector here. Um, I literally just put every, like, building block down. I'm not putting you down. Um, we'll just jump up in. Can I jump up and place this? Is that even possible? No, it's not. Um, I don't want to break the glass, but it's about the only option I have. Okay, there we go. So, bloop, on there. And I don't do these. Yes, they do. Okay, I didn't know if they directly connected into the cables or not, but apparently they do. And now I've got my low voltage wire, so I click on you. And I click on you. Connection obstructed. Can I stick you on the side? Will that work? If I put you right here, does that count as being connected? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, where's my wire? There we go. Oh, oof, that's not what I wanted. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Okay. So you right there. I can grab you back. Okay. And I lost one of the wires. It's probably inside the system. All right. And that should be putting power in. Yeah. Yeah, that's putting in power. Awesome. Well, let me let me do the, the old-fashioned... Uh, I don't have my wrench on me. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I trapped myself again. I literally trapped myself again. Jeez. <sighs> okay. You... We'll put you at the end over here. All right, so you're there. And wire. Wire connected. Okay, cool. I'm going to go grab my wrench and test it out. And if this is all working, then I might work on another mill, uh, another water mill in the meantime, just to, you know, get a little bit more backup power because right now power is an issue. Not that we're, I have a lot of use for power at the moment. Like I'm not using a lot of power, so it's not too bad. But so we're going to make this little spot like remote here. There we go. So that's all by itself. And as you can see, it is charging up quite quickly. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That's it. So that means that this is putting out power quite a decent amount. And now if I check these guys, they should actually be. Yeah, they're I mean, they're fluctuating. They're fluctuating a little bit, but they're they're stored power like they actually have stored power, which is good. I don't know why the power is going down so quickly all of a sudden. All the power is connected, right? Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, that is, I think, it for the day. I, I think we were pretty productive. Let us actually go and open these loot chests to see what we got for our hard day's labor. And I'm going to go ahead and dump, like, my entire inventory into here real quick. I'm going to get that all cleaned up later. But I want to make sure I have some uh, space for all these loot chests and stuff. And hopefully we get some good goodies. Some good goodies. Yeah. And I, did I have a couple more on me? I did have one more loot bag, two more loot bags. All right, cool. Let's see what we get to finish up. We got some bread and a division sigil, iron helmet, some obsidian and certus quartz. Oh, two. Oh, what do we got? Night vision, prop three. Oh, that's nice. Provides illumination, heals for half a heart 10 seconds after taking damage. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's just kind of junk. Oh, what we got here? Heals player when equipped, senses nearby or not really helpful, but another white stone. Another jailer safari net. All right, cool. Let us dump some of the stuff in here. Um, you, 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 you. Everything else, I'll put you in there for right now. Okay, cool. Loot chest. No more kitchens. Amulet of growth, okay. Unbreakable wand. That's awesome. Diamond apples. Heat, uh, heart glass. I'm not familiar with heart glass. 
Uh, reeds, flat lamp, and tinted glass. Another increased mining speed ring. And ore processing upgrade. Well, some fun stuff. Some useful stuff. Didn't I already have one in there? What happened to it? I had one in there already, right? I thought I did. I don't know. Anyways, what is this? Donators perks? Interesting. Um, yeah, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's episode and want to see more like it. And also, don't forget to comment and tell me if it's cheatsy doodle for me to go ahead and take this quest book and double up all my goodies. I Part of me feels it's a little cheatsy doodle and part of me really wants to. So I want to know how you guys feel about it. So fill me in. Let me know. Tell me if I'm going to be a cheater not to do that. And I might do it anyways, even if you call me a cheater. I might do it just because you call me a cheater. I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.